Now, staying on the topic of health, cutting edge technology is allowing emergency medical personnel to give whole blood at the scene of an accident. This is very interesting. It's something that's never been done before in Hampton Roads. News Crew reporter Angela Bohan explains why this is so important. If you're in a terrible accident and need blood, every minute counts. But local experts tell me that it takes a national average of 37 minutes to bring you to an emergency room like this one. But with this new technology, EMS crews can bring blood to you in the field, increasing your chances of survival. I need an ambulance. This is a tremendous advancement in the standard of patient care. Imagine the scene of a shooting or a major car accident. Over the years, we've learned a lot about trauma, both from, from the wars overseas and then from mass shootings. The patients that do the best are the people that got the blood in the 15 to 30 minute window of their injury. Starting next month, Virginia Beach EMS crews will have the advantage of carrying type O positive whole blood right in the back of the supervisor's vehicle. You'll, you'll find in it a unit of whole blood. So why is this different? Historically, we trauma patients in the field. We'd start an IV and give you some basically some clear liquids that would keep the vein open, but those don't carry oxygen. Studies show that 1.9 million people die around the globe every year from uncontrolled bleeding. And just like the availability of drugs to treat overdose victims, this too could be a life-saving advancement in the medical world. When I got into EMS, Years ago, uh, only paramedics could give the overdose uh, naloxone or Narcan. Uh, we now have police officers carrying it. Based on the lessons we learned, the success here, that will then go to other cities and also more, more vehicles here in, in Virginia Beach. And if you'd like to help, blood donations are needed. In fact, there's a blood drive happening next Tuesday, and monetary donations are needed to replace the disposable equipment used in these vehicles. We have all the details inside this story at WTKR.com. And by the way, the blood that is expired, no longer being able to be used out in the field through these cars, is going to be used for training purposes. In Virginia Beach, Angela Bohan, News 3.